craziest train collisions and mistake caught on camera. From a catastrophic derailment on the blue line in Chicago, and a truck driver in Poland who couldn't stop in time, to an extreme oh. crash in Oklahoma that sent a car flying into the air, and much more. Here are the craziest train collisions and mistakes caught on camera. Uh oh! In the small town of Spazhen, Western Poland, a truck driver learned a valuable lesson about speed limits. On January 14th of 2020, he was driving through the Polish backcountry with an excavator on the flatbed. He came around the bend too hot and couldn't stop in time for the passing train. At first, it seems like our truck driver is innocently crossing the tracks. Then, bam! The high-speed train zips by and takes them out. However, CCTV footage from a different angle puts the whole story in perspective. Our driver approaches Damn. way too fast. You can tell he slammed on the brakes by the way the cab dips down. The oh, wait, he went past it and the barrier was down as well? Bro, what are you doing? Are you not seeing this from a distance? Truck was too heavy to stop in time. Here, the driver oh, makes so a decision. Go. Stop and risk the cab landing on the tracks, oh, shit, or try to no. outrun the train. Okay, enough, he chose enough. the latter. The train smashes the flatbed and spins it 90 degrees. Imagine being in one of those cars and watching this whole thing happen. Out of the 150 people on board, only four were injured, including two train operators. The truck driver walked away unscathed, though his truck was a lost cause. Wait, chat, how did the people in the train get injured? Like, it didn't look like the tra train even rocked there, you know what I'm saying? It didn't even look like they rocked. How did the people in the train get injured? Strong interior. In the Swedish city of Gothenburg, the second largest city in the country, a public bus got stuck on the train tracks. A local man named Freddy Persson was there to film the whole accident. It was March 8th of 2020, around 7.30 a.m. Freddy was waiting for his bus when he could tell something was wrong on the railroad. Wait, chat, am I louder than usual on the video or not? Because I, I had to play around my audio levels, or is the levels all good? The bus he needed was stuck on the tracks, and the train was fast approaching. Wait, yeah, I am louder than usual? Am I? I can't, I can't change the levels here. I'm always like, no, 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 I mean like in comparison to the video. In comparison to the video. Like, is the video too quiet for me? Like, am I much, much louder than the video? I am. Uh, let me let me turn it up a little bit then. Let me turn it up a little bit. Let me turn it up a little bit. I'll turn up the video. All right, we should be good. The, the video now should be louder in comparison to my voice. Oh, let me know if it's good or not, because I need, might need to adjust it more. Me. Wait, what's fast this? approaching. Yo. Me. Me. Helvete. Helvete. Damn. No, chat, I obviously want to be louder than the video so you can hear me, but I still want the video to be loud when I'm talking. So you can still hear, you know what I mean? It needs to be a good level. I did turn it up a little bit, so it should be good now, but we'll see. The train obliterated the bus and kept moving. Let's check that out again and in slow motion. <laughs> Why is it parked there, by the way? The bus does a complete 180 when the train hits. Debris flies in every direction, and it looks like the train is about to derail toward Freddy. In super slow oh, motion, shit. you can see a small fire off to the right. There was Damn. probably a spark that ignited the fuel. According to reports, the train partially derailed further up the tracks. Thankfully, nobody was on the bus Stop. when the train tore through. Of the 50 people on board the train, only a few suffered minor bumps and bruises. 
Thackerville is a sleepy little town in southern Oklahoma, right on the Texas border. If you've ever ridden the Amtrak from Fort Worth to Oklahoma City, then you've passed through. On October 16th of 2021, the conductor on Amtrak train 822 saw something up ahead. A fully loaded car hauler had gotten stuck, and there was no stopping the speeding train. A local driving behind the truck recorded the violent crash. The sheriff's office arrived to find the driver and his dog shaken up, but okay. Four people on the train Yo, suffered minor injuries. Could you not reverse the truck back? I just take off the handbrake. Now, like, I know it's broke down, but it's on a hill. Could you not take off the handbrake and take it back? Or is it too, like, far onto the track? And were treated at a local hospital. The crash looked like something out of a video game. Look at how high that car gets when the train Stuck plows through. Him. You can see how the tracks elevate off the main road. Perhaps the semi bottomed out Damn. and couldn't drive over the hump. It also looks like the crossing arms are stuck on the truck. But right. if the driver wanted to move, he could have just driven through. Holy. It seems like semi trucks just love getting stuck on train tracks in the south. This next crash comes from Richmond, Texas, a small city outside of Houston. On May 5th of 2021, an 18-wheeler carrying cases of bottled water was traveling through Richmond when it got caught on the tracks. A local man was standing at the intersection of 2nd Street and South Calhoun. He was wise enough to take a few steps back and then press record. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's stuck on these things again, look. Bro, it's... Every time. Yo, it literally just tears straight through it, bro. Damn. Why is it, Mike? The train was like a hot knife through butter. It sliced the truck in half, but thankfully nobody got hurt. The police said the semi was carrying about 44,000 pounds of bottled water. Plastic littered the surrounding area, Holy and it took shit. them several days to clean up. Like the Thackerville crash, you can see the crossing arm is down and touching the truck. Maybe the driver thought the train would stop in time and didn't want to break the arm? Well, rule number one, never assume the train will stop. Ardouille is a small municipality Ardouille. in the Belgian province of West Flanders. It's the kind of place that avoids international headlines until something forces them into the spotlight. On December 20th of 2022, around 4 p.m. local time... Hey, this is a tiny-ass truck! How's a, big, how's a big collision happening here then, mate? What train's going through here? A semi-truck got stuck on the train tracks. From what we can gather, oh, the driver called oh. Iveco service, which came to help restart the truck. What he should have done was call Infrabel, the railroad company, to see if they could divert the train. Workers from Iveco try to fix the truck. As the story goes, the truck originally broke down in front of the tracks. Iveco arrived and Yo, was- Yo, what's happening with these trucks breaking down on the tracks, bro? Like the chances of where you can break down and it's on a track. Able to start it up, but it died again after a few feet. The clock starts ticking when the arms come down. The driver gets back in to see if she'll start, but it's useless. You can get, see the man out. flailing his arms, get a out. telltale sign that they don't know what to do. It seems like they're having trouble getting the hood open, so they try forcing it with a board. But their efforts are too late. Our driver runs away and watch. You know what? He, bro, this guy is risking everything and more. Yo, why are you still trying to get the hood open when the train is that close? Like, what are you going to do? Get in it and go? Bro, look how close the train is. And he's still so trying to get the hood open. So they try forcing it with a board. But their efforts are too late. Our driver runs away and watches the train obliterate Damn. his truck. The front two cars derailed off camera. Out of everyone on the packed train, only a few suffered minor injuries. 
According to InfraBell, the damage extended over a distance of 500 meters. They have stickers posted near these crossings. If you ever get stuck, you're supposed to call them and let them know. They may be able to divert an incoming train. Right, true. Or even get it to slow down in time. The Chicago L train is among the Windy City's most recognizable landmarks. Eight colored lines will take you anywhere you need to go. For those flying in and out of Chicago, the blue line takes them right to O'Hare International Airport. But if they were traveling in late March of 2014, they had to make other plans. It was March 24th of 2014, close to 3 a.m. The blue line was making its standard trip to O'Hare when something went horribly wrong. The inbound train overran the bumper and nearly took out two people standing nearby. Train 141 approaches O'Hare Station. It uses the cross track to get into the middle lane, where it's supposed to stop and let everyone off. The electronic brakes were supposed to kick in once the train entered the station. However, oh, there no. simply wasn't enough room. Oh, the two no. people at the top of the escalators have no idea that a 23 mile per hour train is barreling right toward them. The train overruns the tracks, smashes through the bumping Holy post, fuck. and rides up the escalators. The two people take off running as the train nearly reaches the top. It Holy finally stops shit. in a cloud of dust and debris. According to the CTA, there were 50 passengers on the train when it crashed. About 33 people, including the young train operator, were taken to the hospital. She was Damn. only 25 years old and had been CTA certified for 60 days. Yo! 30 some people went to the hospital? Would it really cause that much damage in the train going 20 miles an hour? I feel like 20 miles an hour isn't fast enough to cause that much damage with 33 people go hospital. That would still cause that much damage inside? What, at 20 miles an hour? As the story goes, Wait, she had really? been working a lot of overtime and fell asleep at the Damn. controls. Oh, yeah, true. There's no seatbelts, is there? Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Bro, I remember I've only ever been on one train. And when I was on the train, bro, even when it, like, sl slowed down a tiny bit, you kind of move forward. For Norfolk true. Southern, 2023 has not been their year. It seems like there's another incident involving their trains every month. To their credit, a recent crash in Warner Robins, Georgia, wasn't their fault. On May 10th of 2023, a flatbed carrying a silver sedan got stuck on the crossing near Robbins Air Force uh -oh. Base. A few impatient drivers successfully beat the crossing arm, which inspired our truck driver to do the same. As you can imagine, that was a bad idea. Traffic okay, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He's a bit an idiot. He, he's an idiot, bro. Like, you see it coming down. You, you literally see it coming down. Base. A few impatient drivers successfully beat the crossing arm, which inspired our truck driver to do the same. As you can imagine, that was a bad idea. Traffic flows steadily through the intersection. Amazingly, cars keep coming even as the arms start falling. Our truck driver thinks he'll make it, but he can't speed up in time. It looks like the arm comes down between the cab and the Bra silver sedan, effectively it. sandwiching him in. He tries pulling forward and backing up, but he's stuck. That's when he sees the train Bro, and bails it. out. The Norfolk Southern train obliterates the cab and drags the sedan along the tracks. The steel overhang- Why would he not just drive forward, bro? The worst thing you could do is leave it on the track. That's, that's the very worst. Why would you not just drive forward? Obliterates the cab and drags the sedan along the tracks. The steel overhanging nearly falls on the black car behind our flatbed. Meanwhile, the driver Holy bends shit. over and watches the biggest mistake he's ever made speed by. It looks like someone from the Air Force base pulls up to make sure he's okay. According to the police chief, our driver was trying to make a left turn when the crossing arms came down and trapped him. He didn't feel like he had enough time to move the truck, so he bailed before the train took Bro. him out. We watched the clip. He definitely could have gone forward and got out of there. He would have broke the barrier, yeah. But he could have got out of there. 100%. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like 100%. it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.
Mod. <laughs>